All right, so some people asked me about the first half of the AMA, and I just didn't watch it, mainly because they tell us nothing important. And then Dominic, if Dominic doesn't know the answer, I don't know how a various TNT mod who just does PR would know anything behind the game. But since people ask, I'm like, you know what? I didn't give you the 80 minute video yesterday. Maybe we'll, so not maybe. We're going to watch this here. And I just want to, once again, probably bitch and moan about, like, what's the point of these AMAs? Because to me, the point of the AMA is to tell me what's going to happen before the next AMA. So the four month or four week little snapshot and then get me hype. So in these next four weeks, what's going to keep me excited and engaged, right? Mainly right now, it's like Battle Dome opponents. What's going on there? How does the new plot work? Are we going to get permanent shit? What's like, how's it all going to like pan out? Like, show me the menu so I can go, ooh, that looks really nice. I want to get that dessert. I want that. So, I'm ready. We're going 1.5 speed here. And we're going to go right to 3.49. Hi, everyone. I hope I'm live. <laughs> um, if not, I'll keep talking to myself. Um, but uh, thank you guys. I already, as someone who, I was there when I gave my last 80 minute thing about the second half when she's giving Dominic the, the AMA. I've never seen such force level of like bootlicking in terms of like giving someone who's giving like C answers. Oh my God, you're the smartest kid I've ever known in my entire life. You're, you're a genius. You're a prodigy. You're amazing. Can you sign my shoes? Like, you my autograph? I've never seen such a force hype job than what Luna did. Thank you so much for joining our live. So I'm probably going to be negative to some degree to her from just the remnants. So maybe I should have gone this side to that side, but <clears throat> apologies. Hi, for those of you that don't know, I am TNT Luna. I take the pronouns she, her. And um, here at Neopets, I make videos. I respond to your Instagram comments. I'm the personality hired by the water cooler. And you can find me in all of the Neopets fan groups. So the Discord, Reddit, Neopets Nation, etc. cetera. Um, just a quick housekeeping before we get into the juicy bits of the live. Uh, if you guys didn't know already, we are having a premium promotion. Right. I've read... I've beaten this horse, but this is like, get fucked. <laughs> so if you had the subscription before this, you can't get it. It's now a limited time and there's going to be no sales in the near future. And they're also going to give you 2000 worth of NC spread across like three different installments. <laughs> yeah, you'll love to see it. And um, I know that there have been comments that this isn't the same as our annual premium sale that we've had in the past. And unfortunately, it was just because of, you know, some limitations with the payment server. Don't you just love the little, like, dog and pony show here where they're, hey, we used to do this really cool thing where you get an annual sale. And since we took over, we no longer say we can offer the sales anymore. It's spaghetti code. Just, it's only for brand new like the subscription times here. So unless your subscription ended in this random four week period, if you were buying the annual subscription, you can't get it. <laughs> it's like a cell phone package where if you were buying like a three month deal, and you offer you like this is an awesome new deal. It's like, no, nope, you're locked in. No changes. You signed it. Server, we weren't really able to do the regular discount that we do do, but in the interim while we're So it, like already have bullshit right off the bat. They can't even keep the old guard of just going, hey, the new sale, we'll just say it starts like in August where you have a four week period where your sub ended August 1st, the new sale is now August 2nd to the 31st. Like a very simple, straightforward, ex like you know what's going to happen. You can plan for it. You can prepare for it. You get cool perks and it's a big cash money where they just milk the titties out of the community. We're upgrading the servers. Um, we still wanted to do upgrading the server spaghetti code. Ooh, how many times can we tell you some bullshit before? <laughs> I can't. I do this sort of like bonus rebate offer, and you may be asking yourself, Well, I've never used premium, and what's in it for me? And uh, well, I'll tell you what's in it. Uh, it's a dog shit service, and unless you desperately want Nurk mids or you're a price gouger, reseller, sniper, there's almost no purpose to have it to be honest with you. 
it doesn't really do anything great for gameplay. Save it for you. We are upgrading some of the perks. So the first and foremost thing that is coming. You know, when someone tells you there's going to be something cool, imagine someone telling you, like, you're going to buy a car and that if you buy the car right now, they're going to maybe take it to a mechanic and give it some love there. You're like, I, I want to know if my car is a piece of shit right now so I don't buy it. Or if it needs maintenance and I gotta buy it knowing it's gonna spend two grand on a transmission or some sort of other ma major or minor problem. Is that you will know? This is like in uh, hockey where someone gets traded and they get traded for future considerations. So it's just like, we just want this guy off our team to not have his contract. Like, we want the cap gone to our team. No longer be looking in the space fairy mirror because scratch card, the scratch card prize pools are going to be updated that whoa scratch card prize oh my goodness once a week prize card oh my the price is right what a in the near future does that mean september we're going to add um a free random nc fortune cookie each month to the premium sort of perk. oh wow i've been talking about that for six months perks. then we're going to add um a free random nc fortune cookie each month to the premium sort of perk. i don't like random i strongly dislike random you can get a, like, who wants the Coincidence one, or the Battle Dome one, or whatever that one is. People really only want the FFQ. Like, that that's where the good shit is. There's two. There's that one, and the Secret Library, where you get more zaps. Those are the two ones that I think people would be interested in having. Perks? You should just be offered one of three, and you pick it. Like, cool. And finally, I know that you've maybe seen like the Jumbo Aisha plush or like all the 25th anniversary plushies and a bunch of new merch, perhaps on our LinkedIn in the background of some of those photos. If you're not following us on LinkedIn, please do. Um, but that's why, um, you know, this might be the time to subscribe because we're also going to be doing like an exclusive eShop discount and early access, hoping to launch in late June. So um, yeah, just just wanted to get that, get that discount and early access. That's why, um, you know, this might be the time to subscribe because we're also going to be doing like an exclusive eShop discount and early access. Subscribe on LinkedIn to get exclusive perks. When all players are not equal, that's when things die. It's one thing to say, hey, they get priority. We're only, we're only going to sell 1,000 of these, and they just get priority. You're like, yeah, I, I understand. Like, I wasn't at the movie theater. I didn't pre-purchase. That's fine. But these little side bullshits where they just try and pump the absolute fuck out of other bullshit to try to tell advertisers and bullshit. Yes, hoping to launch in late June. So um, yeah, just just wanted to get that get that little deal out of the way. Just was... the way she's talking, it's like she's trying to sell. Keeping. But... I'm, I'm gonna. You know what? But, uh, moving on. Um, since we're kind of tight on time, in my mind, we've got a pretty packed live schedule today. So you know, we'll be joined by TNT and the Amanda Files, who is like, I'm fangirling over, and she was like, I'm fangirling over you. And I was like, No, nah, we can't be the Spider Man, the Spider Man meme. Oh my God. Like, be still, my heart. Um. You could like talk to her on the Neo Cord or on Reddit or post something and have interaction. So I'll just move on to the first segment with TNT Fally about NC Pet Styles. We could just welcome TNT Valley in. And you can just clap from the safety of your own homes. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Why would I clap? This is the person who back, I knew a girl back in high school where if she typed LOL, unless she physically laughed out loud, she would like type it, then erase it because she felt like she was lying. Um, I'm here. <laughs> By the way, I had a lot more nice things to say about Fowley in the AMA because she just looked, she looked, her expressions were in par where, like, I guess they hope they eat that bullshit answer where it's, I, that's an answer, I suppose. Her face always <laughs> yeah. is just, her face is just so much exactly like where I was like, okay, maybe, maybe Thank not. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I, could you just really quickly maybe introduce yourself, tell us your pronouns, and, you know, a little bit about what you do here at the I don't know if that's just becoming some like ritual in 2024 in the future of giving pronouns or to me like I could take it or leave it I don't like it you're a staff member or whatever but 
unless you're not part of the traditional what I expect you to be or people would assume I don't need to have this 15 second by the way did you know I'm a feminist and I am pro choice and I am pro insert other things and I voted Joe Biden just so you know I'm totally Puritan like I'm so totes with the current whatever trend of online meal cuts sure of course so um i'm team two fally the first thing that people notice about me is i am australian australian jump scares everyone watching <laughs> uh, my pronouns are she her um i work in a marketing team at neopets alongside luna um and i get to create fun content for our neopets social media specifically <laughs> so they overlap she's called the slorganic chemist to me like you have to be doing good shit to really be able to enjoy the little side jokes and if I'm worried the rain is falling super hard and that the levee might break and I live in New Orleans, I don't need any jokes about anything. I need to know that the game is going to hold. The content's coming. Like, I, I, I'm stressed. I don't... Ooh, oh my god. I love how I'm like, pretending this is all new information to me. I'm like, you were in Neopets marketing? That is so cool. I'm glad that like, she could have her little speech of how she's special. But we, we, we literally had like meetings before and after this. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, we're we're coworkers, um, and we. I should you not like I literally have a headache, and I know I have her one point five speed, so I guess maybe that's to do with it. This head looks backwards on the Akara, but I just can't like if this person is just every single day like. I understand sometimes why I like when like married men, straight married men learn life, they just like go deaf. They just don't wear hearing protections. Like, yeah, like I just, I can't. Okay. We actually joined Neopets within a month of each other. So I would say that we're from like the same graduating class of TNT. But um, since we're still fairly new to this team. Um... I don't, I've learned nothing. They had an annual subscription. They're trying to pump. Have I learned anything important yet? Nothing. I like, I'm. If you had annual subscription, you're not getting shit, so get fucked. And that's about all else I've learned. Oh, and that they're going to add a new scratch card prize pool. Woo um, Fally, what's something that happened sort of in Neopets or within TNT history that you wish you could have been a part of? Um, I love how this is like baggage time where we get to hear about various past things. If they had a side thing where they were hey come meet the tnt team where we interview a new staff member every whatever and do that that's super cool that would be its own thing i'd be much more nice and that's cool but i want to know about the game that i'm playing and i want to about the content by the way fally what did you have for lunch oh you had spicy food i love spicy food when i was 10 my family traveled to thailand and i loved you know what a mukbang is, guys? Because I was in Korea also when I was 12. Because, like, I'm super traveled. I'm sophisticated. Oh, man. Just can't. Oh, it's such a good question. There's so many points in time that I really wish that um, I was a part of beyond being a player. Like, you just kind of get really attached to. I think if I was going to pick any point in time, if I wanted to be TNT, it'd have to be at, like, the peak or the height of the McDonald's plushies. Um, I was just addicted to them. Like, oh, it was yeah. Macca's, right? That's good. When the fuck was that? But again, a, a, you know, a happy oh, meal. But when I was in pants, I was like, oh my god, this is the best. So yeah, if I was no, around, so accurate. <laughs> no, so accurate. Honestly, I was. So she wants to be an employee when she was twelve or ten. I, I come on. All right, so literally twenty years ago, to the basic date, they had this. So we'll just be super kind and make no fuss. We'll just say she's. 25 here or 30 so she was five or ten years old so even the question doesn't really make sense and i don't know what we're still doing here you might as well see what the fuck these are about let's be honest you know what we have fun here guys sometimes <clears throat> that is one fucking ugly asia that that uni looks terrible Damn, they had seven different colors each. Random paintbrush and Novas. <laughs> Novas. That's supposed to be a neg. 
May, June. So a one month period. I mean, that is what it is. I guess that's kind of cool. We might as well, you know, go down memory lane here. Of course, there's going to be someone out there who does it. So all basic for pink, starry, and black or a white. All right, that's kind of that to me. Seeing this is better content than this entire AMA so far, but let's keep going on. <clears throat> I was I was like around during where in which the plushie. You know, this person was the loudest person in high school, and you could always hear her voice in any room she was in. Like I'm a, like I'm already uh, having just I'm trying not to be like mean or like, unnecessarily negative, but were released in the happy meal boxes because now like after what the fuck are we talking about some 20 year old thing how would any new player be like oh 20 years ago back when no one had a cell phone because you were in grade four for the fact i'm scrounging on like facebook marketplace and they're like 25 dollars for this like little thing and i'm like it's not inflation i totally get it 25 dollars for a 20 year old plushie that's not covered in shit i don't know what <clears throat> That seems to be a pretty fair price to me. <laughs> no, I really, I really want... There's like a little like pink cheek that I think I have, but um, now I just go to Savers and hope like some unsus... What, what the fuck are we still doing talking about McDonald's? Expecting um, adults has like tossed their old Neopets plushies. If I knew, hey, TNT Fally, you got a minute here. Give us in a minute your introduction, some kind of cool story introduction a neat fun fact or quirk about you and we're gonna get down to business like mulan we're getting we got an army to train we got some it's at the huns they fight <laughs> by the way like the art's fucking on point here i like it the next kind of weird with the little faily here great um but okay so i i'm <clears> actually brought you in to talk about the nostalgic pet styles as this is the royal theme um so i just guess i just guess i just wanted to like break the ice sort of so i got it pet styles as this is the we zoomed in here this is 1080p guys this is i have the same background the exact same spot royal theme um so i just guess i just guess i just wanted to like break the ice sort of and ask you what your favorite royal pet was that we've been able to bring back what are we doing like how is this engaging content to a viewer it's almost like we are seeing a private conversation between staff members who have just doing their first ever meet and greet. Oh, I, that's a really good question. I like that. The, uh. What your favorite Royal pet was that we've been able to bring back. Oh, I, able to bring back. <laughs> sorry. I, oh, I, that's a really good question. Well, I gotta hear that in regular time. To bring back. Oh, I, <laughs> All right, that, that didn't change much of it. Yeah, that's a really good question. I've always had a soft spot for the like the Royal Girl Safaras. I just feel like no one ever like I know they're just so cute and underrated, and I don't think you could get them previously. Or I was just uh, not on I this site. Like, like, were and so cute. Were. So cute. So, like once again, time to plug this game because it's a basically a various clone and it's dead ass free, no ads anywhere, other weird shit. But oh. Did you want to not pay real money and support evil capitalism, which is just totally bad for everything in the world, except that it gave you a fucking iPhone and a computer to bitch about online about? Did you want any of these Royal Boy things that for free, just get a paintbrush? Oh, how is that crazy how these clone sites can do it for free and you got to pay for it? Oh, wow. How did they do it? TNT took 14 months to do it. And they've had this Royal Girls Zafar on here for over multiple years. <laughs> and they have all the different faces. Oh, my goodness. Like so anticipated um i would have to say personally i think i think the really like beautiful cute royal styles are great my favorite is the um the unconverted royal boy Ak akara i'm so scared to say neopets names like in real life because people be like um it's not pronounced that way but i'm gonna say akara um because he just oh my like if we all had any level of self-care of how much this chick woman loves herself we would all be 
in love with ourselves. Like, it's just snooty. I, I recently watched that South Park episode where they were clowning on Lizzo. <laughs> that you can take Lizzo and then if you're just morbidly obese, you can then get the medication because you're going to get diabetes because you're probably unhealthy and not... I mean, that's his own side thing, but... Like, really mean. Like, I feel like the royal black girl, like, wants to speak to your manager, and I'm very much here for it. Um, yeah. Obviously, I think this is just her regularly, but could you imagine her on some kind of upper? Obviously, 1.5 speed, but Faley seems pretty normal when she talks 1.5. Really? I feel like they're really... Okay. Real. <laughs> right, right? Um, okay, so while I have you here, since we work in marketing, I feel like you might know some tea about the nostalgic pet styles. Uh... What the fuck are we talking about? I still don't know, like... I'm going to cut this short of probably like 60 minutes because I'm only 10 minutes in. I still don't know what the fuck they're doing or accomplishing. And she's, she's in a rush to do stuff. I don't know what the fuck she's rushed into besides wasting time. Are people telling her some sweet, nice, good lullabies? Is the chat not even going to load for me? Even the chat quit. Uh, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. So for starters, um, will the nostalgic pet styles ever get additional poses? People ask me this all the time on um, you know, Pets Nation and on... All right. Let me walk it back and just say it would be so much more enjoyable if they did the AMA and then they did whatever the fuck these things are. This is basically having your dessert then shit in your pants because you're lactose intolerant and then going back to have some like chicken cordon bleu or some weird thing. The structure here just isn't conducive to anything important. Like at least Dominic tries to tell us sweet lullabies and politicians sidestepping and don't worry, two years and eight months from now, you're going to get something cool. You know, I've been seeing them here and there on the Reddit. So will we ever get additional poses? So this is something that we really do want to do. Uh, the programming just isn't quite there yet, unfortunately. Um, with it's also weird that these are marketing people talking about the back end of developing and adding in stuff like that. This is like the secretary at a mechanic telling me, <laughs> like, I'm like, how long does, how long is this complicated, like, full swap out going to take? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, we're like, what's going to happen? We're just trying to you know, work with implementing some alternative poses, but it's it's something that we're definitely working on, so, like, don't worry. Like, we really do want to do that. We want to charge you money. Oh, yeah, I really, I personally need, like, the battle door poses to, like, come back, Um, but uh, really yeah. good to know. No, me being, like, really good to know as if I didn't know this information. <laughs> so good. I'm <laughs> believing you as you're saying it. You're like... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much for working on that. And then actively, like, I'll be in the Slack later being like, guys, like, we're working on this. Um, okay. She reminds me of a teacher in a school where either the student loves the teacher for being super high strung and constant going or this is the hardest life of your entire childhood okay so then in the similar vein as um as as you know the pet poses will pets that never got you know uc version ever get nostalgic styles you know like those kind of poses it's also very surreal where they know the answer and they're trying to sell it in a weird, strange way. I love answering this question because the answer is yes. Uh, the team is actually working on about 18 at the moment. Or no, also new pet styles for pets that never had UC versions. Um, some, you know, honorable mentions would be the Vandegaia, the Latari, the Ruki. Um, speaking of, I mean, it, probably not. It's not very exciting. No one's going to care. But does anyone want to see any new arts that we're maybe working on releasing that has Sorry, wrong button there. I was recently watching Road to Road antique roadshow because when there's kids around you want to watch something that's a little appropriate minus they show a lot of weird titty sculptings from <laughs> or and paintings but this lady worked for disney back as like a this was way back when they had to do with the hand drew everything and they're asking what was it like stress wise and like what were the demands of requirements and i think she had to fulfill i think 50 somewhere between 45 to 75 depending on how hard they were hand-drawn images every single day at work <laughs> and that was throughout like every day you come in 45 hand-drawn sketches they also were drawing still to still and then meanwhile tnt can't even pump out a single thing in fucking like 18 months it's crazy how they try and do this weird it's truly gaslighting in the sense where like 
they will forever tell you there is coding problems, spaghetti code, implementation, cost, benefit analysis. Like there will always be an excuse when it should be fairly simple to either say, hey, it would cost this many hours. We can't do that because we only make it back this much this much money. But wow, like there's like eight different pets that don't have UCs. Whoa, what? that's so complicated. A game known for their art. Struggling to push out eight different art styles that charge you six bucks a pop for. Doesn't have a UC before? Anyone? Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> Comments? Show <Yeah>. us! <laughs> like, 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 I haven't seen this. No, next right. slide, please. No, I didn't make this slide. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. Oh, no, so this is cool. So cute. So cute. No, I personally love how, um, you know, because we're calling them nostalgic pet styles, not necessarily NCUC, it doesn't necessarily mean that the pet has to have been unconverted. It just has to be, you know, like taking up the form of that nostalgic pose. And I, guys, the art team is so talented. Like, shout out TNT Faye. Um, I, like, we're, we're TNT Faye's biggest fan. Like, this art is incredible. And I think, um, you know, uh, Faye was telling me that one of the newer artists worked on this. So, it's so good. Um, but yeah. Jesus Christ. I, I am struggling to just listen to this person ear fuck me so hard. So hard. You know in movies when they have like a joke about being tortured? Like all of a sudden like you're tied up and you have to like watch something or like some go through some... Hearing this person talk 24 hours a day on 1.5 speed. Like I don't know how I could take it. <sighs> like I... Yeah, thanks for sharing. And also speaking of um, new art... Um, we're also working on some new pet pet wearables for uh, the nostalgic pet styles. So if you're on the NCC, my favorite board list, board list 31, if you're on the NCC. Oh my god, I had to slow down. See, you might know that, you know, those pet pet uh, wearables are very, very popular, um, but some of them are not really compatible when they're layered with nostalgic styles. So TNT Miss Rainbow has informed us that we're releasing very soon new pet pet companion wearables. I heard that there's a very slow one. I'm already very excited for it. Um, but yeah. Excited. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm just looking at the art and forgetting to talk. I'm so excited about this new capital. Um, you know, I'm sure the NCC, like, we always get leaks of these things, so I'm sure they'll come out in the wild um, soon. Um, oh, but speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, though, I'm going to segue. Um, talking about some of the sleuther users who found our servers in an unreleased, possibly nostalgic, allegedly uh, sponge techo. Um, I was wondering, Luna, could you maybe share, you know, perhaps why this pet wasn't accessible, why it was found? Give, give us the goss. Okay, so first off, well, all I want to say is that if I ever go missing, before you call the FBI, before you call the authorities, tell them... Don't worry. People will be like, why is it quiet? Like, th there's silence? They will know you're not there long before you're even taken to a secondary safe house. Because they will find me. Like, I don't know how y'all are, like, Jelly Neo or whatever. Like, guys, like, new Dyer spoilers. Like, guys, what's with this, like, Sponge Techo? Um, so if I go missing... I might need a break and come back. Find me, find me. Um, but uh, yeah, the um, the nostalgic sponge techo style wasn't and hasn't been activated because there is no converted sponge techo yet. So it's technically unreleased. And you know, we really just didn't want to paywall a color for a pet that doesn't have the converted version rele released yet. And um, despite my shock that techos are in demand, couldn't be me. I, could, could it be me? I only own Aisha's. Um, we hope to you know, release this when the converted color comes out, I presume. But that's like, we're not hiding anything. That's the only reason why um, the little cheesy boy hasn't been released yet. Yeah, well. Just seeing her fucking, just fucking, like, just hold, like, can't see, but like, just, like, those little mini dogs that are constantly, like, just moving and they can't sit still for half a second. Alright, um, Belly, there are no other questions that I've written for you to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, trying to them all, like, subtly, and I'm just like... <laughs> like, yeah, that's super funny how you wrote stuff for her to ask, like, ha 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 ha. Sorry. Yeah, I feel like everybody at TNT at one point has had like some sort of theater kid background, so us like doing a somewhat like somewhat scripted but kind of organic thing is like we're just we're just doing improv. That would kind of explain why like shit doesn't get done because there's people who just read a script and they just <laughs> read the lines, and then uh... yeah, it's like this is just the show. Um, but okay, uh... I mean, her doing theater would make more sense. How she came to become a marketing, all right, good for her. Oh yes, yes, ooh, ooh, yes, I'm a certified theater kid. Excuse me for she, her. 
TM who, um, anyways, moving on to things that people probably would be completely more interested in. Um, in addition to the code at the end of this live, we're also going to be doing two giveaways based on your interaction. You know, we work in marketing. We gotta get that engagement up. We gotta get you guys to comment. So uh, we will be picking. At least she doesn't lie to her face. You know what? For all her, all of her things that I'm not liking for her, at least she's just show you the stick before it's being inserted down your throat. We got the force engagement. Here it comes. Open your mouth. Here comes the fucking dipstick to check your oil level. You're not hyped up enough. I would do a gag reflex here, but I think Faley fucking already... She, I couldn't hold the candle. There's um, one from each platform that we're streaming right now. So Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. For those of you guys in the Discord, I can't read your comments right now. Um, but get ready to comment your answer to a question. And we're going to choose an entry that catches our attention to announce as a winner. And um, we're just going to be reading them out. So uh, for the for the court jesters in the in the chat, for, can you comment a Neopets pun and you will be entered? Okay, okay. I have, I have, I have, I'm here all week. I'm here all week on the spot. But I... Does something fucking important happen? The Puzzle Hunters Club with the Amanda Files, and then there's a giveaway. Maybe Amanda can save us. I'm half an hour in. I'm flailing. So good. Oh, <laughs> wait, that's what we would say on the boards because we were terrified of saying like Google would get us like banned. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who made a slurk pun immediately yeah. is a uh, shaw pop real. Like when people talk about the beauty. Of they just stalled that entire. Oh, my God. Of birth, I now know what they mean because watching TNT Valley, like, literally come up with an idea, would come up with an idea to do an avatar, like, come up with the whole, like, scheme of how to do it, and then on top of it, be like, by the way, I designed three new incredible characters, was insane. So, I really want to ask um, her about that. But before we before we dive into, you know, dissecting, uh, <laughs> dive into, you know, dissecting uh, your brain, TNT Valley, could we welcome our next guest, the Amanda Files? <gasps> As a side note, Amanda got fucking punt into the shadow realm by being placed in hell where she didn't understand she's about to step into a place where they have no good answers for her. So she's back. Hope this goes better for her. Lord cast minion. You're mute. What? Wait, Amanda, you're muted. You're muted. <laughs> no, not bringing me back to COVID college. What's up? <laughs> I'm here. I am here. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? <laughs> yes, yeah. Cool, 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 oh cool. my god, no, we, we can't. All right, um, cool, um, yeah. Oh, I feel like the tables have, like, really turned. The turns have tabled, uh, because you're, like, now a guest, but you were a host. Um, but hi, Amanda, so for those of you, uh, for, the, for the viewers that don't... What are your pronouns, and are you a good person? Now, could you perhaps uh, let us know your pronouns and also introduce yourself? I'm sure everybody knows you, like, is a fan, but, you know, for, like, for, for the 1%. Um, yeah, sure, my pronouns are she, her, and... I'm somehow a YouTuber, I guess. I still, to this day, don't really know how it happened. I went to school for, like, wildlife biology. I was a wildlife biologist for years. So if you ever find, like, a weird lizard in your backyard, you can text me a picture of it. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> um, and also, I can tell you um, all about uh, Neopets now, too. Like, you know, and just Animal Crossing and stuff. So, yeah, that's me. I'm just currently in the throes of, of another Neopets hyperfixation, period. don't think this one's ever going to end. And, yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> so, so what are your thoughts? If you're a wildlife uh, biologist, what are your thoughts on the on the... Um on the anatomical accuracy of Mark with Neopets. Oh, oh boy. Uh, you know what, honestly, you guys have some really fun ones there that are kind of like, they're like species in real life, you know, which is really cool. Like the, the, the Norbu that just came out, that's like a Portuguese man of war or something. And Ooh, like, I, know, I was like jellyfish. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, they're not actually technically a jellyfish, but it's okay. <laughs> they, I mean, you can pretend uh, like they are. Yeah, they look like it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I can't just let her jellyfish, say something inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's some good ones, and then there's some like really tentacly ones and stuff that are just. I'm not sure why she's being brought on. I'm, I'm. Hopefully, they're gonna tell me why she's here. It's pure Neopia, which is great. Um, I love all the new like wearables that you guys have been doing lately that are like animals. You know, like the croc that's in the swamp, and like you can just see the eyes. Oh, I love that. And then like you just did a bunch of other ones that I'm forgetting now, but I know that there was more that just came out. I just love it. Any wildlife moment. Wait, thanks history. for being such a fan. No, no, no. Thanks for being such a fan. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that you know you talk a lot about like you know maybe lore. You have a bunch of interest. There's just no way Amanda could compete with the amount of hype Avaluna does to her own self and just what she brings. In lore, I know quite a bit, but um, while I have you, could you maybe like let us know what your absolute favorite bit of Neopets lore is? Oh, yeah. I mean, not to be predictable or anything, but I just think Lord Cass looks so good in that picture. Um, I love that picture of him. Probably my favorite. Um, it's just him, just what he tried to do. They weren't ready for him yet. Um, you know, he, I just, I see, I consider him a hero, honestly, and Meridel to be the villains, if you were to ask me. Um, and then also, I mean, because I know that Lord Cass is the easy answer, but um, I do actually like all the other lore, too, of Neopets. Um, 
and it's so hard to pick like a favorite other than you know Battle for Meridel, but I really am still to this day 14 years later like shell shocked by Fairyland Falling in Fairy's Ruin. Like I can't believe oh. that they did that. I love it. I love that they like messed up an entire like classic land that had been that way since the beginning of the notepads, <laughs> and they just didn't fix it. I love that. I hope you do it again. I messed some more stuff up. It's great. <laughs> I hope you break more of the Neopets yeah. site. The viewers are like, Amanda, please stop asking it's them to break the site. It's so loud. You like... Especially Meridal. Um, <laughs> like, there's nothing to say because we don't get, like, nothing in the past 10 months has made any difference to the actual game, content, NPCs. Like, nothing's changed. Yeah. No, literally. Well, call me Fairland because I am a falling for you guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Before... before... Before Fally throws up. <laughs> I know I was going to make an eerie pun. I was going to be like, well, Lord Cass's story is, is kind of eerie, so I won't go into it. But I just, I didn't. <laughs> but I actually did. I think Fally finds this <laughs> irritable. <laughs> oh, Jesus, take the wheel and just drive me off the cliff. Free me. Like, you have fucking, who's the guy who rolled a boulder up the fucking hill as punishment and a fucking, cr fucking fall and a crow eat him? It's what this feels like right now. <laughs> it's okay if you do. Um, okay, so well, I said that we would talk. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if we're talking over you. Sometimes I like lag on my end of the streaming, but I will do my best to just, you know. I feel like I'm in like a group therapy session for people who've accrued like a million dollars in credit card debt by spending on the most frivolous bullshit in my life. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, but okay, so just to get into. The where she's gonna show me 14 pairs of shoes and then they're, they're all exact same and all the same different, it's just- This I don't... whole Puzzle Hunters Club segment, because I have both of you here, which is like two of the people who were like in the group doing it, um, but just broadly for the people who, who might not know, Fally, what is like the Puzzle Hunters Club? What was the hunt? Oh, okay. I don't know how to answer this to be honest because it's such a big question. So the Puzzle Hunters Club are a group of new characters that came out uh, a, a little bit earlier this year um they came out specifically on our social media and their whole thing is that they are so places i don't give a fuck about and don't care all right a, a bunch of friends and they like to you know solve puzzles um and interact with interact with i guess neopets in the same way that maybe our players and we do they were little they released such little content and then they spend time trying to pump people to insert instagram or twitter or whatever shit as people so maybe a bit more of a lens for how we are experiencing neopia but yeah they're just some cool some cool cats who are besties and work together and like to you know solve stuff um and it was yeah just so surreal that i got to do it to be honest <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah I mean, this hunt was incredible oh maybe slade maybe i'm just trying to imagine these like Luna's mother picking her up from school and asking how her day was, knowing she was going to get an actual, honest to God description of how that day went. Well, oh my God, we had some biology class, and then Kimmy told Shelly that Shelly had ugly shoes, okay? But no one told Shelly for like three days, and oh my God, we all laughed when we saw her. Like, we act like we didn't, she didn't even know. Like, what a bitch. I can't even, guy. <sighs> My skin feels itchy. Slade, Slade. Don't forget it. Yeah. <laughs> also, I to add I guess, that. I'll also add that, like, um, we brought out the, the puzzles <clears throat> on our social media specifically for a new avatar. And so. I feel like I'm at, like, I'm rewatching Mean Girls and the popular girls are all sitting at this table. Like, oh my God, Kimmy, your top is so perfect and beautiful. Oh my God, I love your shirt too. And your new earrings. Oh my God. Like, what's your favorite designer? Oh my goodness. I like. Whatever, Ralph Lauren, I don't care name a brand. Oh my goodness. Did you guys order your new Uggs? Oh my goodness, so cute. Like at the mall, there's like a super cute guy who works that like Frappuccino Cappuccino. Oh my goodness. Like I wrote my number on this receipt and he hasn't called me back yet, but he winked when I left. Like, what should I think? Like, that's basically how this is like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I came here. With the understanding or intent that I was going to learn some shit about the game that's going to get me excited. But all I learned was, hey, if you bought 12 months and you, your sub doesn't add on this four-week period, <laughs> get fucked. And that we're going to add a new prize pool to the scratch cards. And then we're going to follow up this struggle session with 40 minutes of Dominic giving you some milk toast thing. Like, 
at least Dominic tried to answer a question incoherently and poorly with like a way to give you potential like like maybe it'll get better like I don't know like anything's possible oh <sighs> what are like what was the plan here because she Luda sold the fuck out of us that there was a busy plan I don't know what the fuck we're busy about So they were um, a really, you know, pivotal part of engaging with our community to get those puzzles found and, and you know, conspiracy. We all love conspiracy theories. I love the puzzles side of it. Even on. Uh oh, QAnon Shaman Faley conspiracy <laughs> theories. I don't know about that, guys. I don't know. We found the mole inside of fucking TNT. Terrible at them. I just respect that they exist. So that's where they came in. And oh, she respects. I love the puzzles side of it. Even though I'm terrible at them, I just respect that they exist. So that's where they came in. And I, yeah, I hope I could, like it was my first um, kind of go at doing it like this on our socials. I just wanted to have some fun. I wanted to, you know, show the community that we... I don't know what the fuck this. This reminds me of like a Make-A-Wish Foundation where, hey, if you had a dying wish and you were 10 years old again, what would you like to know? And then like, hey, can I talk to the creators who did all the cool stuff in Neopets and they can give me some spoilers? And this would what it would have been like if we had gone forward 20 years. It can be fun on our socials because we're players and we want to kind of bring it to the forefront. So that's where they came in, yeah. <laughs> no, we're so we're so lucky to have you. And also, yeah, I think you're just a problem. No comments. No. I don't know what we're like. It's awesome. She does content for Neopets and she's a wonderful person, super a high nuppy. But I don't know what she's adding to me learning about Neopets. I don't know why I'm getting more excited about the game that they're trying. Like, they're trying to sell me a product. That's what TNT does, or business. They're trying to sell me a reason to keep playing, or possibly even what they're trying to do is get me to pay money to enjoy various features above the base free game. No comments, no notes. And they've done nothing in here. They've, in fact, turned me off by doing some... Like, I feel like I'm running through a marsh here, bogged down in boots and every step. You just like, oh, here's, and you have to literally, like, your foot comes out of the boot. You have to grab the boot under, like, the mud level, pull it out, then try and put your foot back in before you fall over and get, like, everything messy. I'm just tracking through a complete bog and mire. Thank you, Chef. Um, but I know that some of those clues were, like, pretty cryptic and like you know there was a small group of neobians sort of like writing that but um amanda i know that you were sort of in that discord group chat could you maybe tell us a bit about the process you might have witnessed for the clue writing uh anything at all yes i was definitely a witness i don't think i'm not good at puzzles either <laughs> so i had nothing to add when it came to like coming up with the clues but just watching people whose like brains work and they could do that stuff and they were like making up the clues and stuff i was like going through all of them and i was like oh i would have never thought of that they're never gonna think nobody's ever gonna figure that out like you, you guys this is too hard no one is ever gonna figure this out unless you go to like mit and to me i just didn't give a fuck because it's such low-hanging fruit, and I just don't give a shit. And I also didn't care or know what the rewards were, and it just... It's one of those things where... There seemed to be no reason to do it. It's almost comparable to me that when people see, like, a Rubik's Cube... And they want to like go solve it. I'm like, why? What's the point? If you know the pattern or algorithm to solve it, you can solve the Rubik's cube and whatever under a few under a few minutes. Give them this. Like maybe they'll figure it out. <laughs> but lo and behold, like they figured it out before it was released. Sometimes, <laughs> like they were just figuring it out. It's amazing that people can be puzzled. No. That's incredible. No, that was that was my bad. But I so guys, I for those of you that were like actively doing the hunt, I was never supposed to drop the screenshot specifically of Grendo's warehouse. I did not know that like like Amanda had been working on a clue to reveal that it was Grendo's warehouse, and then I was just like, eh, guys, I got my avatar. Like no, <laughs> no, no like that wasn't a clue. It actually that was honestly, the biggest, that was the <laughs> I, I've come to like. Someone posted in my Discord about this, and I'm like, did Amanda make that, or why are we doing this? And then no responded. I'm like, all right, not that important. Like easy peasy. I've realized that I think it worked out for the absolute best, if I'm being honest. Like, I really do. Because I feel like people had already kind of figured out that that was Brendel's warehouse, which is kind of like a, you know, it was, it, was, it was something. The place we always go to redeem something? Wow, what a complex puzzle. Like, that's much wow. You went through the drive-thru at McDonald's, and you could make an order there, and then you paid and got it? Whoa! 
Like, they're so breaking the meta. Something that they would have come to the conclusion of anyway, because it's one place where you can enter things. And um, and so I think it was really quick that Fally drew those hand, those signs, right? Like, you just drew them, like, as if you just can do that. I mean, you're amazing. And it was just, like, over the course of a night, and I just, like, threw them into my video really quick. And I feel like that was an actual... This is exactly how I feel when my nephew tells me about some epic game he played in PE class. Where, oh my god, Timmy had the ball, he threw the ball, and there's a goal, and then inside the goal, if he scored two points, we're down 8-2, right? So Timmy, Timmy's over there in the corner, right? And I'm back over here, and between us is John, and John's super fast, right? Anyways, so Timmy's tying his shoe, and in the back's down, Ashley... Ashley's totally flirting with Timmy, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. That's plus for our team. So I grab the ball and I throw it right. And it bounces off the wall over here on the grass. And someone kicks it. They grab the ball. And then I'm running, right? So I'm running. And I catch the ball. Like, what? That truly is how I feel watching this. Like, I'm glad you guys had a good time doing it. But as a third party observer, there is like, there's no joy to be had here. Someone tell you, like someone telling you how they watch kids do a, like, this is like an adult telling you what they saw when they saw their kids doing an Easter egg hunt and they were collecting stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's great. Like, I know what Easter egg hunt is. The kids went out there, found it. They're, oh, there were some hard ones and they were excited. There was a hole in one bag and it was like, woohoo. Like, it was... I get it. You had a special thing and then you got to release it and then you had fun and it got solved and she fucked up part of it okay it's not released yet that nobody had figured out yet that i could actually give out so that worked out because i was like oh, people already know. Know. oh yeah no i was so happy to have like something to do and hide i was like oh i'm gonna make it really hard and, and then like i made it a little too hard because valley was like are they all in there i couldn't find them all and i was like it's too hard i'm sorry i was trying to make a here's a time signature <laughs> The, the, the time scenes went crazy. Um, so yeah, Valley just, well, like, like so talented. I'm so grateful to have you on marketing because totally, like, every day I'm terrified that the art team will, like, literally poach Valley and I'll just, like, lose my... Imagine waiting to see another fucking great fucking vendor NPC and Neopets. And then the creme de la creme is them talking about how they had a puzzle riddle off the main website... They brought in their most popular YouTube content creator. And they had fun. And that's going to get the people who did the puzzle excited. And then we're looking forward to more. Like if you got a cool trophy or something. Or you're like, hey, you get a robot pet pet. Uh, if there was a robot pet pet involved here, yeah, titties, uh, I'm, they're out. They're, they're flopping around anywhere. Buddy, uh, like, I'm naked down Neopia Central looking for that answer. Um, but you personally drew and designed three, like, whole new... There's so much fucking glazing going on here. This is unbelievable. I've never heard people just self-congratulate. When I make jokes about reddit being a like a circle jerk of just like oh yeah like we're like you've got two hands but apparently you have two feet too so you could be pleasuring four people maybe using your mic there's like you have so many holes that are not being attended to this is how this is basically how this is two characters to be the more i watch this the more it's like hey we had a party and your dumbass wasn't invited are you not Amanda? You, you, you have 50, 60, 70,000 subscribers on YouTube? No. Well, then you don't get to be a part of the super only fun thing we did over the past four weeks. Yeah, go fuck yourself if you're an annual subscription member. Don't forget that, guys. Be a part of this puzzle under cloud? Like, the, like she had sent me the line art, and I was like, this is cleaner than bleach. Like, this is this is so clean. So could you tell us about your process for designing? Sure, I will. Um, we'll come back to this line, I think, as well. So I want to give a shout out to the person who made the avatar. But I'm just oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to glaze now after they've done this, but there's literally in my own Discord at least 10, 15 people who could draw art of this level, if not better. There are the oversaturation compared to the normal world of extremely talented artists is unreal Neopets. The one thing there is no lack of is creativity and drawing. 
a pet, either as a humanoid or as some retcon you see? The, the process for me is, I know this is going to be such a boring answer, I just have the idea, the vision, the characters in my brain. And is this a scar? Is this some like birthmark where we're having some celebration that you can be you can unique and different? Did Lord Kaz kick her in the face? I'm like, I'm just gonna get this out. And then in terms <clears> of <throat> this project, I had a pitch, I had an idea. No joke. This is actually like in a coloring book where you see a raw stencil and you color it in. That is exactly what this is. I could definitely take her leave with the top little thing on her head. I don't, other than that, face great, that's great. Cell phone. I don't like the fucking, this drop down here, final design. I don't appreciate the weird colors they picked. It doesn't, I don't know. Dear, I back. I did the, um, the hell out of TNT Aesop. I was like can, I please, like, can we please do this? Like this week we have this avatar. I love the eyes. I love, like, my favorite colors are black and red. I'll simp all day for black and red, but I don't know. I just... Coming out, I really want it to be something more than just an avatar. This little force, like, like they really wanted that pocket on it for some reason. I like a cleaner aesthetic where it's just, it's just clean and concise. Coming out and, you know, I want... So have some fun with it like show her personality give her a fucking leg tattoo or some sleeve do your own thing like kaz did something cool i'd be totally down for that i just want, i just had this idea and i was like i was determined to kind of make someone let me do it and um i just drew them and then i sent them to tnt asop and he passed them on to the art team who that would be tnt Fe among other people and had a big call about it and they were just so like, she drew this or is... um, <laughs> in a good way in a good way they're just like what have you done you're just a marketer um but i was like i gotta do this I gotta, I gotta, these characters have got to come out um so yeah i got everything approved on that front. by the way they they butchered the fuck out of this concept art like they fucked up those eyes so bad front, and they basically just i don't know why we have an ear tag thing like let me go crazy and i'm so grateful like, did you see any crazy conspiracies about the, um, you know, the clues? Was there, you know, was, I think, I saw, like, my favorite part was seeing fan art for Valley's characters, but what have you seen, whether it was in, like, the clue hunting or... I'm just gonna struggle for seven more minutes, or till we get to an hour, then I'm gonna just quit. Just, like, the community itself. Yeah, no, I mean, it was awesome just having information that nobody else had. I love that. I love doing that. I love just, like, looming over everyone and being like, <laughs> they don't know that I know. <laughs> I love that feeling. It doesn't really put anything into the community, but I just appreciate you guys. Oh, thank God she said it. It does nothing for the community. Oh, <sighs> at least she understands that it's like I have inside information and it's so cool. Let me tell you how cool I am for having inside information. It's telling me secrets sometimes. I really do. <laughs> um, and yeah, please give me more special privileges. It was just awesome, like seeing where people bring things because again, my brain does not work like that. So the fact that they're figuring it out at all, but then they're also going on these other like crazy, you know, hunts through different things. And I'm like, that's like how your brain works. It's amazing. Or like, I think at one point they were looking at like birdies freckles and just little things like that. Like even, oh my gosh, this was so funny in my video. They're like, quick, what's on her bookshelf? Like I see Chunji Ito. And like, I'm like, no, it's just my bookshelf. <laughs> and they're like, look on the walls. Like, is she acting normal? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I hope I didn't people were like, <laughs> That was so crazy. Like, people were like, social avatar, social security number. The code is Amanda's social security number. Everybody, can we get on that and put that in? Can we bring more side into Grand Nose Wear? I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know what's going on here. This is someone telling, like, I'm reading from some girl who just read Twilight, her diary, and how she's preparing for her wedding, and she's going to wear this. This is going to be this decoration. This is the color theme. This is how she's going to have these bridesmaids. This is going to be her maid of honor. I was, I was like... Like people at, like looking into the books on your shelf, that is crazy. Like my favorite look. <laughs> oh my God, no. What the absolute fuck are we doing? I have I don't know what the fuck we've talked about in Neopads. This was a pretty good fucking concise thing where it's like introduction. Special guest. So they answered three questions in about You could have answered these you could have done this recap in a minute <sighs> that, I love that's, yeah that's crazy no people 
uh, people, the devil works, but uh, the people who need an avatar from Neopets work harder is, uh, is all we have to say. But, spe okay. but speaking of this avatar and the final design, you know, can we talk about it? Um, you know, Fally, I know that you want, we all wanted to credit the creator, but yeah, Fally, how did this avatar happen? How did we get this design? What's the, what's the tea? I've got the tea. Did her face finally break and she showcased how she just... Sorry, I gotta, I gotta see if she finally broke. Sorry, I, 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 my brain needs time to. Oh, <laughs> some good old sounds right now gets me excited. This might take too long. I forgot exactly where it happened. <sighs> There's no way any person who's human gets this far in the video, but <clears throat> I said I'd go for an hour or so. Just watching her face here. That's like the, I hope no one fucking noticed that. <laughs> this is the best part of the entire video. What did she say here? Did I go past it already? I saw, I can't. I'm... We can't do puzzle. Before I get into it, quick shout out to our guild member Nostalgia, who knows that we can't do puzzles. So, how do we get this design? What's the what's the tea? I've yeah. <laughs> what's the fucking tea? What's the background like? How did how did this dumb fucking event no one cared about come to be? Because that's what I that that's the tea. That's the gossip I want to know about, guys. Wish I could make that my thumbnail, but I'm just too fucking lazy. <laughs> this, this is the only fun I've had this entire AMA. 3202. I've got the tea. First, before I get into it. How do we get this design? What's the what's the tea? I've got the tea. First, before I get into it. How do we get this design? What's the what's the tea? I've got the tea. Oh, Fally, how did this? I've never. I wish we could have it more HD, but like, like her fucking face is that like. After little... happen, how do we get this design? What's the what's the tea? <laughs> I've got the tea. First, before I get into it, quick shout out to our guild member Nostalgia, who knows that. At least I'll go a bit happy knowing that I truly believe this is like a character or like a, like a carnival barker esque whatever the female version of that probably would be. Because I don't think there were female carnival barkers because that was a dog shit job. But just, I guess to be part of the program here, uh, a hype woman. And that she's probably way cooler than this AMA has got to showcase. Okay, she can't do puzzles, so helped us make some of these puzzles. She's incredible. She needs a shout out. She's amazing. Anyway, on to the avatar. Oh my god, the avatar. Where do I go? Firstly, so uh, we're we're in Dante's Inferno, man. We're like in we're in the betrayal level of hell here. So our community ambassador who designed this avatar is an avatar god, as far as I'm concerned. Now that's. Avatar God, guys, that's what we need here to throw away, throw around word. He's the Avatar God. Just the reality. Um, um, when we decided to do this, just avatar, when I thought they couldn't glaze the people we a little really hard, we really wanted people to vote on it. And I think going into that, we knew that that was going to be these three elements that, frankly, have no business being together, and made them look incredibly <laughs> great. Like awesome. never give him a computer ever. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Please go and get it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking um, at the yeah. Like maybe showing up and little like, hey, we're looking for this. I don't know. And maybe like having the design portion happen on the boards or something or have them go to different lands. Right. Like, I just think the possibilities are endless for them. I just want to see more of them. I love them so much. Sloth is already so a part of the game. I would have rather they let some new fucking era shit shine through. I 10 times like whatever, Maeve, Maeve, Maev, some right kind of World of Warcraft. I'd much rather get hype for a character that's going to be Scissoring, Jadora, and Illy in the plot versus Sloth. And like So much! So yeah, whatever they choose to do, I will follow them to the end. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I well, I'm so glad that we had, you know, such a great first run. And now that we're like looking back on it, we've actually got some really incredible feedback sort of compiled by, you know, our ambassadors and our own a witnessing of the event to take. Glazing ambassadors one last time. All right. That's an hour. I don't. I think if you've got this far, you deserve you deserve some kind of appreciation, medal, something. But uh, that's enough. I can't. I my my brain is gonna fall off. I'm gonna sleep so well. I'm gonna touch my head's gonna touch by a pillow in a few minutes, and I'm just gonna be. Speaking of which, I would have rather just been doing that instead of watching this. This was by far their worst AMA because none of this was even relevant to the future or to the average player experience. Nothing about this was to the community or players. This was a show and tell of how the fuck you weren't invited to Amanda's birthday party. Amanda had a birthday party and she invited her close friends or people and she had a good time, I guess, with some people, but you weren't invited, so go fuck yourself. And as they say, get good, probably skill issue. Guess I'll see you guys next AMA. Actually, I saw something I want to do a video of. I'll probably release it in the next few days, but I actually can be fucked to watch it. But take care, stay safe. 1.5 is too fast.